I want to thank Torah anytime at Kavash Gokha Pratis and Kala Lashin or Beyazif Yafi. Well, he just saved me now, as usual. I didn't know how to work the phone always. Abish just sent me Rabbi Yasef. Anyway, I want to thank the Abish for everything. It's, it's wonderful to be a big schuss every time. It's a new, it's a mitzvah rabbad ma'id. The story of Rabban Leib. I heard it A me P A. It's a real true story. Reb Shalom Bear, Reb, what's his name? Sorotskin told it to my nephew. Nephew is Adam Choshev. Reb Asha Israel Shlita told it to me, the last Shabbos, that Reb Aaron Leib asked him, "What percentage of your work is Hashem Shemaim?" And he said, "Halavai five percent." And he said, "It's a pity on the five percent. If you wouldn't have that five percent, then you'd be we'd have even more tire out of you." It's a true, true story. Now I want to tell you my heart. I have to say something. It doesn't possibly just, you know, say it over. I have to, I'm already a big shot. I want to say it like this. Listen to this. The world should, the world is lucky to have a yid like him. But everybody's different. He does, you know, I'm a little bit different. If Rabban Lee would have asked me, what percentage is Shem Shemaim? I'd say a thousand. <laughs> Who, me? What's not Shem Shemaim? Everything by me? That's, I would honestly say that. And I'm, I'm very, I would hold from saying, and that's stamp a shtick. I would hold, yeah, I am totally L'Shem Shemayim. Me? Totally. By the way, I'm a little bit Rabbi Miller's Mahalach. Rabbi Yeshua, am I, li- am I right? The way I'm talking? Rabbi Miller. I have no words for him. I did know him, and I had to do with him. His greatness it was, now I, again, I want to repeat, Halavite is more of something. I'm just saying my, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm heavily involved in Tikkun Amidus. It's number one. It's every move you make. It's a Midas issue going on 24-7. And today the Midas is to turn you into a, into a zero minus. That the number one, Melchama! Don't let the, yeah, he has millions of, re- Ave- <gasps> Ave- no, now you're up, no, this is something else. This, you have to be my, is no good. Now look, whenever there's something productive, that's a total different story. Do tshuva, I'll give you a game plan, get rid of the cost, whatever it is, we'll give it this, get rid of that. We'll work on it at least, by the way, I'm going to tell you more about the this Nevada. If you sit down and work on tshuva, and you make a cheshben on efesh, and you go nowhere. The source of working on it is so alien and shemaim. First of all, it'll be siyat and shemaim. But just take out that pen and paper and start working. I did this. Let's try this. Or I have nothing to do. Or let's daven. Or let's just write it down. Spell it out. I did this wrong. Let's try this. Let's try that. Ad Khan, you did that. You're going to be zeicha like any. That's plenty, 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 plenty. Just address it. It's Kaidish Kadashim. I heard this straight from one of the Schwartz children, Rabbi's children, a big Ebed Hashem, a tzaddik. He told us to me, just do that. It's plenty good. Now, so, the, um, Somebody, many, many people are calling me up. Rabbi Mendel, my basherta, I blew it. I had a chance to marry Kach Bekach. And I said this, and I was too particular, or I was this, and he was, the, she was, the, and it blew it. And the big Makubal told me, you lost your zivig. Now, any Mekubal that said that, <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know, I would like to, you know, I, I, I'm not, I don't like to criticize anybody. Why did you say? I just want to ask him a question. Why did you have to say that? Now, I'm going to tell you a true story of somebody that I know that heard it from somebody bigger than an average Mekubal. Something like that. Big like... 
Ruach HaKedosh is up to that. I don't want to go into more details, the greatness of this person. This person, this person would tell me anything. I would listen, big time. But this thing here, no good. And he would, this person was told, you messed up. You're going around, you know how old you are? You're ready to have eight o'clock. And you still, well, you still haven't found what you believe is uh, shit. And here, does he told it to me? You know what happened to this fellow after he was told that he messed up on his bashet that he saw about a hundred girls? How's that? hundred girls. How'd you do that? You still okay? A <laughs> hundred girls, you okay? Anyway, he was shy. The whole world saw him already. He married a shidduch that the world never saw. He raised a family that the world never saw. This is after he was told you blew it. So all those people that feel they blew it, remember the story. I know all the players in this story. I'm not bubbling. I'm not making something up. Did you hear that? Now, to any negative thing you hear, don't fafum. You know, when I, when I spoke about, in the Var, they, they spoke to me about Ayan Horus. Rabbi Schwartz, that's how he told me, you believe in that stuff? You believe in that? Einhorn? What do you mean? It's a chazal. What do you mean? It's every bit of a chazal. You know that there's chazals and there's betachen. You realize that. There's two dinim. A bal betachen is a different world. You know that? He gets total different treatment. Makur of amalgas. I'm buddies with the Amish. Don't bother me. No, no, no. The rules do not apply to me. But well, it's a big yisoy. Get involved in betachen. It's, the dirt needs betochen, betochen. You're going to get different service and everything. You're going to get the most biggest miracles. Be in action. Be in action. You get schar just for working on betochen itself. You're working on tochen, ain't l'shay. Now I got another story. Also, I know all the players. I know what happened to. He was told to me. Also, an El Tarabacha. Oh, did he drive everybody my sugar. You want to get dizzy? Talk to him about. I remember he used to tell me, well, she needs to be, she comes say, the, the vodka is waiting. The vodka vat vadach. You know, me vatten for Mashiach. And the vodka vat for uns. What? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, nobody's home. Okay, bring them all down. Come inside, everybody. Just look at the vodka, you'll feel better, especially the geese are flying. You see the fly sabiri, the great goose from France. So ho ho. Enjoy. Anyway. Something happened to me lately. I don't know. I don't know. It's something. I hope everything's okay. I used to get chicken by looking at it. I was kind of an ear. <laughs> you know the, you know sometimes you're kind of an ear. I was the, I promise you. I took one peek. I was already going like this. Recently, I took a couple of shots and I felt like nothing happened. I hope everything's okay. I'm Besaif Yomov. He learned how to, how to hold his alcohol. What's back there? You know what I'm staying in Because it's only a good simon. That's claw. Yesh Darshim Lishvach. We are always there. You have a choice. And the way your there is come inside, Bo Mahamay Nechem. The Reb is here. The Reb is here. The Reb, the Reb is quelling on the cover that he gets. Listen to me. I come in and I bask in the cover that I get. That's to me. That's fine. You know, I, I'm a big rate of cover. You know, I don't want to say his name. Um, but this man, I hold from him, Olam Umaloye. And Maybe I said it last time, but it's Kedai to Chazah. Chazorah. Chazorah Shia. I got to promise a true story. This man is a leader, one of the biggest leaders in Klai Yisrael. I hold from him. This, it's not Chayach. He, he's one of my, he speaks my language. He's the closest to what I, what I'm all about. And he told me that whenever he gets depressed, he turns me on. He presses a button, he sees me, and he always cheers up. Now this fellow, not only is an eloquent speaker, the whole world's after him, but he's funny too. He's very funny. 
And he told me, Rabbi Mandel, you are funnier than I am. Now, he made my day when he said that. I'm telling you, I'm still living off that comment. You don't know what you're a person when I heard that. Are you serious? Are you hold on funnier than you? Yes, you are funnier than I am. I told him, well, it didn't possibly me to just go along with that. I said, no, I hold you're funnier. He said, no, 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 you're funnier. Now, this was in public. It was embarrassing. And not that public, there's a few people there. Now, we got into a bitter fight. Who's funnier? Yeah? So we have to do, we have to working on, not the, a machlekes. We have to, too much machlekes going on in Klai So We have to learn. You didn't have to get along better. So we got into a big machlekes. I hope we're still on speaking terms. Well, then he said another thing. This is all true. I'm not making this up. He said uh, on himself, I'm a biggest right of covered around. And I said, no, sir. I'm bigger than you are. You never saw me. I love covered but He said, no, I am. I said, no, I am. We got into an automach like this. We don't get along too well. And, you know, I'm just kidding. But anyway, I told, I finally said like this, I am the right of covered ador. <laughs> I'm the right of covered ador. Madrega. Madrega, Mitch. I am the biggest right of covered. I got the, um, I'm great. I love it. Anyway. Where are we up to? So, no, some, some more stories. I was mocking tests of the kids in my class. Uh, oh, yeah, what's that there? Crazy. I'm an Aldas Rabbi. He understands Rabbi Bernstein's what a, he understands an Indian. The goose is waiting for us. The goose never, he needs a ticket. <laughs> Let's be massacre the goose. You know, you know, the, what's his name? Uh, the Rijana, Haley Rijana, I'm a Rijana. The Haley Rijana was once eating cherries. Ramea Fai Zeyre Tzadik and Rocha told me the story. He was eating cherries from a cherry tree and he, ate, and, he ate, and he ate 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 and he ate. Another cherry, another cherry, another cherry. And finally he couldn't eat anymore. So he started crying. And he asked Mechila from the leftover cherries, I'm sorry, I can't get to you. You know, they say a different rabbi. I don't want to say it because I'm not... This story is a story. He, he used to pick up the fish on Friday night. Who's that? Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. Pick up a fish. There was still... There was a hole. Picked it up. Are you ready to be eaten? I remember you. The room that said no. I remember you. No, go back into the water. You have time yet. Next. Oh, time to go. I'll eat you now. So... I'm, I'm, I don't know. If I'm not, not in these madrigas. You know what happened. I promise you. The guy was sitting right there, right where you're sitting. A rabbi, there's a lot of, there's, I'm counting, it's the fifth Admor that's after me. They're all from big people. I mean, they got, the, see this, they're, they're not that, that little, he's the fifth one that I counted so far. The Admirim and me, we get along. I happen to love Admirim Machal. I have, I love Admirim. I always did. Because my sister, Lars Shalom, she used to, she used to be a, a teacher and with, with, uh, you know, she, she had a, um, um, she used to, she used to be, she used to, she used to, um, teach little kids and she said she had some eight o'clock of rebus. She said those kids were the sweetest kids. Oh, I was worried. Simcha, you made my, you gave me Simcha. They love your stuff. I got a compliment today. Your stuff is the best. Anyway, Rabbi, you sure? So, um, she said those kids are very giving. It's in their blood to care for other people. A Rebbe thinks of other people. I love them. Two, two reasons why I love Rebbe's. First of all, I'm sorry to tell all the Lakewood guys. I do have acidic blood. It's tough. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. I don't care. You know, when I first went to a Litvish Yeshiva, I was a Chaim Berlin. I came home. I said, Ta, do we have any, any, any literature ancestors? Anybody? Please, there's got to be somebody up there because I felt like I wanted to be one of those litvaks. You know, I was in the yeshiva. Come on. And I wanted to be. Is there anybody? Uh, my, my mother, my, anybody. My mother's Yeki. My father, Galiziana. Anybody from the London, from, you know, 
from Litter. Anybody? Sorry. There's nobody home. And my father told me, Zay, be happier in Anakal of Avramovino. It's good enough. That's what he told me. He says, you think I know who I am? We're not from the big Milchaz. I'm glad we have a single years. But anyway, we're... But what I'm talking about now, I do am proud that I am Hasidic roots. What was I talking about? Marcus Hess. Who? Marcus Hess. The Admars. Oh, Tazai. So I love the Admars. Boy, do I like them. Because they have Klaus on their heads. I like that. I hold everybody should become an Admar. I'm encouraging all my Hasidim becoming Admar. All of them. I mean it. Become an Admar. Start with two, three people and build yourself up. Anyway, have people on your mind all day. These are my favorite that they come to me that need me. That I started off davening behind the scenes. I'll tell you a true story. This guy had a machla that you could see. I don't <coughs> want to go into details what it was. And I, and he had her a long time. And I started davening hard for him. The guy till today doesn't know. But a month later it disappeared. And he's alive at Nei Way, way back. That was one of my first mifsim. That was from my long record of Mifsim. That was one of the first. Yeah? Osma, come, come inside, make yourself at home. Canada Goose is here. Grey Goose. Anyway, so, um, what are you talking about? Amen. Amen. My pleasure. Enjoy, enjoy a missile vodka. Oh, that's right. The Admiral sitting right over there. What? The Admiral sitting right over there. Oh, the Admiral. Back to the Admiral. You know the, now the Admiral's, okay. Now the Admiral, come inside. The Admiral was selling, sending me all his relatives. He had whatever, he had whatever. One of the relatives asked me a question. Listen to this. It's a riot. I'm still on, my, on the floor. He asked me if he should do a certain business partnership or something with a certain person. Should I do it with so-and-so? I says, I don't know the guy. He says, no, here's his name. <laughs> here's his mother's name or his father's name. Now tell me, should I do it or not? I says, I don't have. I don't know the guy. What do you want from me? <laughs> he says, no, did I ever flash date this? You know, have it ever? I know I don't. I says, yeah, but you should know. Just look at the name. You'll figure out the matzah. <laughs> Imagine what they think of me. <laughs> I never knew these things. I was supposed to read Kvitlach also. But do you know how many people I tell on the phone, I smell that you have a good muzzle. I do that all the time. And it works. They all believe me. I speak That's like loud. I know. Not so loud. What? Yeah, you just blew it. it. What? <laughs> what do you mean? People on the phone are watching. Oh, people on the phone. Whoever listens to me has a good mazel. And it's done forever. I guarantee you from this moment on, call me up to tell me I was right. And also, tell the whole world what about my I am. That's very important. I need covered big time. Send what? Send the pigeon. A pigeon. Yeah, I don't mind money, by the way. <laughs> I do accept money. Listen to this one. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, you should know. When we first started our uh, Stiebel, about two years ago, somebody approached one of my young congregants. You know, I have all ages. We don't discriminate. I have three-year-olds. I once... I always wonder what's behind the Ezra's Nashim. Listen to this. I mean, who, who comes to me? Like, who's the wives of the guys? I don't know. I, I'm, I know nothing. I saw the Ezra's Nashim. There were two five-year-old girls. I was so <laughs> proud. We have, you know, Chashiva Ezra's Nashim. The purest souls in the world. Anyway, listen to this. This guy, a little kid, was asked about my shul. And they said, how big's your shul? And you know what he said? What kind of question is that? We're not into that garbage cupboard. <laughs> how many? Are you serious? This, we're in the We don't go for that baloney. They have a big island. I'm going to tell you, I heard this from my Rebbe. 
the size of your shoe is covered and nothing but covered. Did you hear that? Don't give me no brave. Blah, 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 blah. It's just covered. The Danish can spudic. The skull you never used to daven. That he should have less people there. You know that? Uh, everybody thought he's a Iyutzlach. They used to watch the Satm and the Skolya. Skolya was a Malach, you know that. He was a, everyone held a Veltrum and the Litvish, everybody was a Goin and a Tzadik. There were spooky stories with him, with, he used to, he took any Pusik and he'd give a whole drush on it. And I shall show this, what he used to do there. It was, uh, it was a Adam Godel, Menoida, Adma, Oid, the Skolya, Alt, the Skolya, Rebbe, Williamsburg. And next door he got the Satma with thousands of Chsida. And the Skolya, <laughs> Did he have a minion? Now, <laughs> and, and the, the Elam used to say, you know, <laughs> Nebuch, he has no mazel. Well, one day I read the newspapers about the Ated, about his anical overheard his Zayda davening. Oh, Rabbeinu Shalom, do me a favor. Don't give me no chassidim. <laughs> That's the secret of success. No chassidim. <laughs> He's begging for it because he lived with the truth. You know what happens when you get chassidim? You get shikaf with covered. And then when you don't get covered, you're dead. I want to tell you something. I saw this twice. The day after... What? <laughs> what did you say? Listen to me. You know me or wrong. I'm a, it's an old story. I ain't pun him. You know, you know the rules. <laughs> Listen to this. There's a makam for this, a makam for that. Where am I up to? I forgot already. No, tell me where I'm up to, Chevra. Two things. So I should get rid of my What? I should get rid of the Enjoy. What are you talking? Get more. Get more. I'm davening for you. Don't worry. Of course, I'm getting, I take credit for everything. I'm always taking credit wherever I go. How are things better? That was my Twillis, by the way. I always do that. Yeah, or a Bashkin, I told him to his face. It's, it's not good, true. <laughs> that was the week that we got this vod. He said, Rabashkin's going, we never did that before. He's going free, the whole place screamed on me, and that week he was out. So, that was us. <laughs> you know, it's going on, they're making such fools of themselves. The guys, you know how many years this is going on? They didn't touch him. He's around the well, he's learning Arabic, he's finishing the Sakhlis. You know, it's like funny how, don't they hop that they're off the wall? What are you trying to do? You're not getting anywhere with this fellow. But now we really got him. It's always a new emergency. And the emergency, that bottle, a bottle, ka'apra diada. Everything, no, you don't notice it's a pattern? Nothing's gonna happen. He's over, he's got, I may have asked him, he's not going to run away. He's fine. He's a tzaddik, he's a living kid, Hashem. A Basha Ben from it is off the hook. Amen. By the way, all those people that are calling me lately, Yeshua's Gemurus. They're getting me on Shalom Bayes all over the place. It's a freilach, the Shalom Bayes. I made a lot of, a lot of Yeshua's. I told you, the therapist told that couple, they don't live around here, you must meet Mandel once a month. What <laughs> Mandel did to them. <laughs> what Mandel is it? I, I did this for five couples just in the last few weeks. You know, one after another. I do one thing. Okay, look, I know he's terrible, she's terrible. I know. We're taking a break from that whole mahalach. <laughs> We're going a different. Taking a break, you'll kill each other some other time. Right now, let's take a break. And I get them. I do this all the time. It works like magic. I have another guy. I just. Five minutes, I had him and his wife on the telephone. Five minute job, the most, ten minutes. I says, okay, listen to me. Say nice things. But don't say, but, eh, but it's not really, eh, stop that garbage. Say nice stuff about her. Say nice stuff about her. And I tell her to say nice stuff about him. And I say, now, what I do is, I set the tone. What? Either they're sitting together, both on the phone, but they're together. It's preferable together. And I laugh as it goes on to bring, inject a little humor. Learn to laugh, you Mishagayim. People are so, what did you say? I didn't like that. I'm sensitive. <laughs> you don't do that. 
You don't know that I'm sensitive? No one ever told you? When, when you were dating, they didn't tell you I'm a sensitive guy. You better be, you gotta be careful. You're never gonna have shalom bias with a guy like me. You know, <laughs> guys like that, I tell like this, stop being sensitive. But, but I am. No, you am. You, you think you are. Just like you think you have COVID. Did you hear what I just said now? I challenge all the doctors with this COVID mishigas. I just, I, I told you what happened with the guy. Just, he, he just got rid of his COVID because he remembered Mandel. He was in bed for two days. It's a true story. He was in bed for two days with COVID. Terrible pain. And then he jumped. Oh, wait a minute. Mandel says it's all baloney. <laughs> then he says, Mandel says with your brain, even if it's real, you can get rid of it. Let's go for it. He got up, he cleaned the whole house, he bathed the kids, he turned it, and the next day he was back to normal. He just told me it's on the phone. His wife doesn't like Mandel. <laughs> His wife holds, no, you got to be realistic. <laughs> you have to, the doctor says, you got to listen. And you got to go. Well, what do you mean? They all say you have to go. It's okay. I'm not, I didn't say you should go. But she's still in bed. <laughs> She's got it out, but it took much longer than him. You like the rules. Keep the rules. You know, I said, I once told him, one of my Abraham, Teva is history. Those days are over. What does that mean? Maybe she wasn't in charge a thousand years ago. What happened now different? Because slowly but surely, Rav Shalim Abba has a fire to get on that. I think Rabbi Rucham also. Rizigishmus. Bottle! All avenues of help will disappear. Look at the Kyle system. There's not, are they normal? The whole world's busy learning. You know that? Kyle? They have Eltazadis that never worked a day in their lives. They're marrying off Enochach. You never heard of that? It's going on all over the world. It used to be like, Rabban once spoke about it in America. And the Americans thought he was out of his mind. He said he wants, like in Yerushalayim, it should be, by the way, he did hold from going out. That's the difference, folks. But anyway, he said this for Baron in public. And someone got up and challenged him. Someone got up and told him, uh, so go to Jerusalem. So, yeah, yeah, that's what he told him. That's the story. So, Rabbi, why don't you go to Yerushalayim? You say that's, they learn day and night for all their lives. So go, what are you doing in America? So Rabaran answered him. I heard this from what Rabaran's biggest tell me. Rabaran answered him. I think he was there. He answered him, there's, there's seats for everybody. Rabaran told him, America has a rave of Klai Yisrael, that's why I'm here. So I asked him, the Gibbans about Vaza and Barabim. You know what he told me about Rabaran? Rabaran did, didn't know what, he didn't hop. You know, in the Vari, they worked on Bazianus, you know. He has business, I learned Musser, and I won't care. Rabbi, he didn't, he didn't hop that he's getting business. He was so beyond. Rabbi was in a different world. He didn't have patience for that. I'll tell you, sometimes, more than sometimes, I have business. I'm simply I'm too busy to get upset. I'd like to get upset and fight around. Can a type of COVID, let's, let's, oh, you did that to me. I could, who has time for that stuff? That's why the Kutzker Rebbe said, I heard Shia Fishman, he was the night mashkiach in Chaim Berlin when I was a bacha. As a fresh young man, he j- just grew a beard. It was like, wow. And he was our dormitory mashkiach. You know who else was our dormitory mashkiach? Bel Yuantraub. You know that? I remember him. Oh, was he sweet. Was he special. Malach Alikim. Ashrech All of the Americans are the best. Let's face it. Americans are the best. Did you hear that? I hope there's no Yerushalmi's listening. What is he? He was in charge of the night seder. He took us, I don't know exactly what the exact position or what it was. It was a Bukhavadik. Uh, he was just a white child, a younger manchik. He was young. Right afterwards, he went to Eretz Yisrael. He was a Tamar of Hot then, no? Rebellion. So he, um, so, um, so the Shia Fishman, he was great. He got us all together. He knew how to do it. Ah, his language is in Shtagizah. Gora Heilige Mensch. Shia Fishman, I have no words for him. He's a real, he's a real deal. Tamar Rav Hotna, Kainakai. 
You know what he said? He started to be out of stender, and all us Americana Harrys ready to hear. Rabbi Shai, he worked himself up. The cuts get there, but gives up. Ich will nicht meine Tame, ich will nicht tun, kein Avedis. Hey. And he repeated that about ten times. Ich will, I don't want my Tame, you shouldn't do Avedis, no. And then he let the bomb. Ich will, mein Tamidim, soll nicht tun, kein Zeit zu tun, Avedis. I don't have time to sin. That's the daven for it, I'm telling you. I tell people who are learning, you still got a Yetzar, give Chaburis. You got to learn more. Or Davin, Davin day and night. There's a Magich here in Lakewood, he has a yeshiva there. He says he, he, com- he doesn't collect. He Davin's day and night for your schmack and learning. And Mela, he's a masmer otzim, he knows shas and everything, and the money rolls in. The school of the sweetness of geschmack and hira nasuch, he told this to me. And he has nisim in her place, the money flies in through the walls, through the cracks. Nittamali has money. Mazitz the malam to the Anyway, all right, where are we, where are we up to? No? Who? Oh, mocking tests. I saw that most of the kids didn't do well. And I felt bad. You know, it was a test that everyone's getting. All the classes, and I see, I heard the other class, a lot of kids got a hundred, me, nobody got it. And the schwach were just a few. And then when I had to put the marks in my row book, I had a writer, I said, what's going on here? They all got hundreds. I says, do you know the Yetzirah to be negative is so strong? You don't even see straight. I'm serious. You think one thing and it's just, the, you think the guy doesn't like you. He didn't mean nothing. You think this is going bad. You're in Demia. And that's why I say you got to go extreme. You don't even know. You're not living with the truth. The truth is just the opposite. Just so, being negative is, is like, it's a, like a religion. You fail, it's a mitzvah. You don't chop. I want to tell you, not a zach. Speaking about mocking me, podcast. I had a yasim in my class. And I had to write something at, at the report card. It was during, during a break. And I was busy writing the report card. He, he passed by. And I wrote, oh, this kid's a terrific balchasik. Lahadam b'chlau. I mean, he, he had no shaykhs. You know, bachlau. Stam, out of the luft. Write whatever you want. No, who knows the difference? You know. I wrote, this guy's a church. I have it in my notes. Taish kadeh di, but the kid walks out to me. Rebbe, can I give, give you my snack? Part of my snack? You know what's going on? You say good about people. Ah, I have people calling me a lot with that stuff. They, 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 Tell you one of the one of the best, you know, Abraham Avinu. Lo yishmal yechel of anecha. You know why Abraham Avinu was zeichet to Yitzchak? Because we had a nasty yishmal. He said, "Fine, you like that? I like it too. You could do that." Abishai says, "I'm going to give you a Yitzchak. That's my shot. You accept what I'm giving you? You don't kvetch your head off all day long. Want to know somebody who really got something? Whatever." Sometimes, if you're satisfied, you show you. I'll tell you another thing about Abraham Avinu. He told, he told, he told Light. He said, "You go right, I go left. You go left, I go right." You know what that means? He doesn't care where he lives, Abraham Avinu. Do what you want. I just want to make his simcha in life, as Ches said. He oozes. He loves just. Give me an opportunity to do me a favor. He was crazy over doing favors. Because like there's a Rashi in Dvarim. There's a Rashi in Dvarim that says Abraham Avinu had a whole bunch of countries that belonged to him. He, he had Seir belonged to him. Amin, Mayev, those are three countries. That's mine. And Light, so Seir he gave to Esau. That's for you. And Light did not tell on Abraham that Sarah's in the box. That would have been so nice to tell Pare Sarah's in the box. He's pulling a fast one on you. So they should kill Abram and marry Sarah, right? That's what Abram was trying to avoid. And Light could have told and he didn't. What a tzitkis. For that reason, says Rashi, Abram said, for that, you're my son. 
and you're getting Amun Amayim. It's a Rashi and Dvarim. Do you hear what's going on? What's that all about? Come on. And you, you make your, your mom is my son. To do a thing like that, not to kill me and make my wife get kidnapped. Such a titkis, not to let the most disgusting, you know, horrific thing take place. They should torture me. For not doing that. And he, you know, he adopted her. You know that. And he, and all the money that Light had was thanks to Avram. The whole Light was thank you, Avram. And of course he didn't give him away. And Maser on him, a Malshin, but a Malshin of Al Tisikwa. We daven three times a day that the lowest of the low are the squeal, those that tell on another Jew that the lowest, the Yisdaven Miyuchet for those people. You know what they used to do to those guys in Malshin? You know what they did to them in Europe? There's a Chuba Sefer in Sanhedrin. There's a Sefer, I think, about Goli Yisayama. One of these, as far he brings down Chuba Sefer. It's a leaker. He brings down a story that once got a Malshin. This guy used to tell on Jews. He used to tell the guy, this Jew got money. Go for it. Chop his head off or throw him in jail. Uh, and then let his wife be an almana, you know, and take the money. That's what he used to do. A malshin. A malshin was, you know what they did to him? He got a hold of this malshin. He didn't got, it was Yom Kippur. And he had a seat up front. He had protected. He was best friends with the pirates. And everyone's scared of him. And a big, tough guy. And he was showing me you know, Amoliga, Amoliga, Apokursum. <laughs> you know. So, and he, so what did they do to him? They jumped him from on by Nila. Was it? I think it was Nila or Kal Nidra. He wanted it to. He was dominating over there as a Yishmak, and suddenly, boom, they jumped him from behind. They put, they put the talus over his eyes. They stuffed his mouth with a rag, and they tied him, ten yid and tied him up, but good. And they carried him out of the base medish. And the next day, they found his body in the lake. And the police made an investigation. And perfect crime. There was, they did mention there was a commotion in Shul. Did you hear yeah, Nobody said anything. That was the end of it. They used to do that. There is a famous Rashiva, I don't want to say, I think of Mashkech, am I right? Who was the European, I saw him. They say he took one of these guys and he drowned them in the mikvah. You know what that is, huh? That's what they say. Yeah. You know that, what? What happened with the mikvah story? What, the mikvah? Yeah. They, I don't know. They drowned. They say he took them in the mikvah and drowned them. The Vardiga ones did a thing like that. The famous, I think it was called the Rakava. He got a hold of one of these. He just killed them, you know. You know some people are raidif. What do you do with a raidif? Anyway. So, so now I'm going to mention the Shalom Bias issues. The Shalom Bias issues. Listen to this. First of all, did I mention this last time? The Shalom Bias. First of all, it's magic. When you get people starting to say nice things about each other. By the way, I got another call from Yerushalayim. A call from a man who I gave him a bracha a year ago about his show. He wanted to open up about his wife and hey, give me a bracha. Since that day, he has Shalom Ayas. a year. I got two of those. One in America, one that I remember. I probably have a hundred of them, but that I remember two of them. Just one bracha over. But sometimes I don't give brachas and I, I work. So I, the five minute job is not, ch- not push it. Not push it. And I, first, I daven a lot. I got to daven. And then I, each one is forced to say nice stuff about the other one. And here comes a guy, a, a, a lady who does zero. This lady sits all day and looks at the sky. Her husband does all the work, and he works hard, and he's a, he's a productive person, and she's one of those snappers. So... And he curses up to the ground, and she curses him back, and it's lebedee. Because I had them all say good stuff, and he had, she had a lot of nice things to say about him. He was a famous guy. He does this. He does that. He's hardworking. Then he had to speak about art. He didn't know what to say, 
And she had the same problem, you know. Uh, this talk of nothing, nobody home. I know, I knew a woman, I'm not going into detail, that was not well mentally. And when she was Nifta, the kids wrote about her on the grave. I saw it with my own eyes. She wanted to do chesed. Hatkan. I hold that was brilliant. In my books, wanting is big time. What? What did he say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Mavildach. People make a joke out of it. Zerat Shimshin Rabbi Burst. That's he wrote about it. He said, say, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. That's, that's enough for me. And everybody is so, Lamaisha, the guy that's sitting in base medish and he can't scream like the other guy, is not worth a penny? And my books, he's bigger. You know how much pain it is to want not being able to do it? I checked this out 10 million times with Rabaisa. It's Teres Amos. It's, you know, and I recently heard from Rabsel Chabunim, I heard Baruch Matchezrachi, the guy who's struggling is way ahead of his friends. He's struggling. Yeah, you're not learning, Bubby. You're not ice scout, Bubby, but he's struggling. He's way ahead of everybody. How do you like that one? Is that something? The Velt makes a joke. He struggles. So, he's struggling. I want it. I was talking about Avraham The um I'll get back to this. Avraham Avinu was versatile. Being versatile. Now this guy was a good man. He became versatile too. He says, you go here. I don't care if I live in an apartment like this or that. Avraham didn't care. He didn't care. Like, you go, I'll go the other way. He didn't care where he's going to go. That's the body. He was a soldier. You know, one of my chebra is doing research in soldiers because he wants to introduce us. <laughs> well, a soldier has no choice or else you're not. Anyway, the Vardigas were soldiers. They didn't care where they slept. I had here in my house. The Shmuel Shneya Zechat Tzadik of Racha. The Shmuel Shneya. This room was then a, a bedroom. The door was wide open. Beshita. And at other times, he slept on the couch with people going back and forth all the time. It's fine. And his, his briefcase was open. He left it open, Beshita. And when, and by here, and when he went to Port of Authority, he left his thing open and he had to find out where he's going. He doesn't know a word of English to ask around. How do you get to Lakewood? You know, so he left his thing open in a corner. And when I went to visit him in France, the, the door of his office was open at all times. He's a manile. He's a big shot over there. Open. Oh, that was his shita. That's the, that's been talking. He worked hard on that. You know what that is? You know how much more relaxed? I was once in a car with him. We got lost. We we're going around in our cuffers and our cuffers and our cuffers. You had to see the chinuch on the body. You used to learn muscle only an hour a day. For, for them, that's like, not, not from the big, you know. So he, he's a big time of not shy. So he, he, um, he took out the map. We were going around in circles in the weird farm areas. We didn't know if we're coming or going. We we're lost upon lost upon lost. And your nerves are splitting. He ain't got your mind. Not him. He had Reb Yashin's training about Betachem. He took out the map and he looked. Okay, let's go that way. You go that way, a long, another, another 20 miles. You come there. No, it's a mistake. You got to go that way. <laughs> Takes it out again. Like Shabbos, Nuch, and Chulin. He couldn't care less. That's Betachem. You want to know what the real thing is? That's betach. They put a lot of kachas in that. To be relaxed. Not, but it's kedai. I've been telling people lately, very, 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 very often, people call me up, Rabbi Betel, this fellow, younger man, nice fellow, I'm working so hard on betach, and, and nothing's, <laughs> I don't want to tell him, I see from your voice where you're holding. <laughs> Hey, so, but, I, but the truth is, I relate to that. We're all in the same boat. You know, in, in the big yeshivas, when they say, Nebesh me bahala on Shadarabah. 
Everyone says that loudest. The whole place is screaming. You know what that means? Hashan uh, Rab is maybe she will save us from uh, the tumult tight and they'll calm us down. The whole oil goes with sugar. At that point, they all know what it's about. All Americans understand the problem. You know, what's, what was her name? Racham Hashem. Big Sadegas, the daughter of J.J. Herman, the uh, author of the boss. She wrote the book about it. So when she came to the Mary Yeshiva, everybody noticed, oh, the Americana left. See, left. She just, the way, she said, I'm not running. That's the way you walk in New, in New York. The way she, her normal walk, what, by them, oh, where are you running? You know, that's, the mentality is, mm, 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 mm. I don't want to get into me this, why people do that. I'm going to get her in the press. It's not good. It's fine. I, I used to work on that a lot. That's the way we are. That's why Americans accomplish a lot. Move. Go. So you're nervous. So, just get that Anyway, um, but many of these people who call me up and the Batachim is there, they have trouble. But the Mishpacha, you know, um, this fellow calls me. My wife is going crazy because I, I I can't straighten her out. She's doing everything wrong. And I want to explain to him, I don't want to tell him, you're a nervous wreck. You think she enjoys you? So, so I don't say anything. And I tell him, spend one minute a day, Manucha, or five minutes, say goodbye to the whole business. Manucha. Take deep breaths. Listen to this. Achsidish, a guy called me up recently. And he, is a basket case. Now that Hasidus, they, they all see them work on, on, on Simcha. And they dance over there, they, they sing and they dance and they crack and they're levity. They, they're great. I love them. I love them. I like all of them. Like I said, I like to see them. But this guy was a basket case. He says he's mamish, a nervous wreck. And he's afraid. He has fears of people, you know. And I says, how do you feel when you're, you're in the Yeshul and you're, you know, you're Hasidus and everyone's jumping all over the place? You're calm or you're busy? Or you're, you're a nervous wreck. You're a nervous wreck. I told him, do the following. While you're there, sit there in the middle of the whole business and fop the moon. You're afraid of crowds. What's a stupid, silly crowd? Sit there and relax. Take a, take a deep breath for one whole minute. Five is better. And do this for 30 days when you're nervous. Do that. And you're going to, you're going to introduce to your system a little manucha. Do you know that? The first three pages, I saw the word manucha 15 times. It's all over the place. And I heard of Chaim Halpern learning Musa on Betachem. Menuchas nevesh abay. They said that a hundred times. Menuchas nevesh abay teyach. Menuchas nevesh abay teyach. And I used to watch him. He was slow motion. Every move. He was productive. He turned when he was in his late eighties. He was running around like a kid. Building. He had the collectors of yeshiva in France, and he used to. He was so slow. He used to take a walk every Sunday. He had a day off. Used to hang around the forest to learn Musa. He learned for hours. He was known to be big into that. Now we took a walk. You know what taking a walk with him was? Every few steps he stopped. He was introducing me to Musa. He was so calm. He was so slow motion. Rabbi Schwartz was also slow motion. He told me, I used to watch the way he used to cut the bread uh, cut slow everything. He used to laugh. Mezak ich bin zu pamelach. You know, I'm too slow. They're all telling me you're too, you get in everyone's nerves. You're going so slow. They all did this. All of them. The Meyer, all the old ones, the new ones, halavai. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. So, um, and so Meyer, when he was in the sukkah, and it was pouring, he didn't jump. First of all, his mispal, no more rain. And the, his sons told me this. They used to see this all the time. 
It was pouring everywhere except in his sukkah. How's that one? Here's our reason at Tzadik Yisraelim. And whenever he was walking in the street and it suddenly started raining, he didn't go running. He took all the time in the world. Rain ain't scaring me. That's a big Nevada thing. You know that people are a bundle of stress for various reasons. Everything scares you. People scare. Oh, it's raining. It's it. Everyone's getting all my sugar. Everything gets you scared. Police cars can drive you crazy. I had a mice with a cop recently. You heard my heard my mice? What? You heard the mice? Chazara? I if you had told me how I got better ones. I got I was once waiting in the courtroom because I didn't have a license. Unlicensed driver. You're in trouble. How did that happen? I'm not that crazy. My, I was, I got, learned how to drive in Los Angeles. My wife, I was, a, I was a younger man, just got married. And I, uh, I still had the LA license and I didn't hop that you got to get a New Jersey license or else you're in trouble. So I, um, I had the LA license. I thought I'm a licensed driver. I got LA license. I got stopped by a cop for two reasons, for speeding and unlicensed driver. I was told you're in a lot of trouble. You better get yourself a lawyer. I had a choice of two from a lawyers. They both said, I'll tell you the name of the judge, Leslie Tinkler. You heard of him? And how old? There's a great Santa Smith, a Jewish Santa Smith, big time. And when he sees a black hat, he kills him. And he makes fun of him. And it's a Chal Hashem. And he says, Rabbeinu Shalom, there were 200 people in the courtroom. He says, Rabbeinu Shalom, I want to be the last one out of here. I don't want to make a Chal Hashem. That's exactly what happened. And I daven, and I, I had my... Now, I didn't take a lawyer. It would have cost me $200 for a lawyer for an hour. $200 an hour. And they both said, Kul Hai Bulai with him, you're not going to wait. He says, I'm going alone. I have a lawyer in Shemaim. I'll take care of this. And I stood there with my chavis habobis and my tillim. i not a regular tillim zaga. Oh, no, not me. I don't just say tillim. I take chavis habobis. I come down with the tillim. I have two dinim. There's tefillah, there's betachim. And calm down. And I kept giving myself a whole workup. I got everything I wanted from the Yevishter. I was the last guy that, that he... Um, there were no Chalashems. And then, as soon as he saw me, I showed him, I, I got my license. I had my L.A. license, which was possible, because I had moved to New Jersey. And my Rebbe told me, as long as you're not lying, what do you care? Anyway, I just showed him the license. And he didn't, he didn't hop. I didn't even have the license, in the, even the, the L.A. license I didn't have. Like, he puzzled me, even if you do have a license, you're not worth a penny, because you reside in New Jersey. You're supposed to have a different license, so you're no good. So I didn't do nothing. I just showed him, first of all, I just showed him, what? I showed him my L.A. license. You know what he tells me? Oh, he suddenly, he was mean, like crazy. He was throwing people in jail left and right. There were a lot of Schwarzer kids and that. And he handcuffing them to the bench with a cop grabbing them. Cops are anti, they don't like Schwarzes. And these Schwarzer kids were doing nasty stuff. He saw a kid wasn't afraid. Jail for the next two months. And he was throwing this guy, he was a madman. He was known to be like that type of real. And so, as soon as I came, suddenly, Eilam Hafuch. It's a true story. Right? Suddenly he mellows down. That's Tfilah. And he says, oh, I feel so sorry to make you come all the way from Los Angeles. <laughs> I don't want to tell him I live in Lakewood. That's the whole problem. <laughs> I say nothing. It's okay. And he loved me. He was nice to me. And and the cop, I was speeding. It wasn't your fault. But it was, cop made, made it go all the way down. As it, uh, you're asking me. The Abishter was in charge. I don't even remember what happened. But that's the Misa. And the cop and him, it was a serious me, 
when this happened. And Kesav Yasser. And the, the cop, he's a Jewish, both Jews. And the cop goes over to me, I'll let you get away with a couple of, you know. And then they kissed each other. Interesting. Goyim, a yidin, fry yidin. They, they were warm. It was a good, you know, a Baal creates a good ruach everywhere. If your mind is full of thoughts of betachem, the whole atmosphere is a different world opens up. I, I spent two hours hurrying on betachem. You know what I did to the whole matzah? You can't imagine. I once had to face a different judge who was known to be anti. I thought about him a month before I had to meet him, like he's my best friend. And when I got up in court, I'm not, I don't cry, ever. I'm not into the sugya. I, uh, Yom Nareim, I'll cry. Fish bubble. That's it. It's enough for me, by far. Rabbi Zah told me once, I wish I could cry. <laughs> he can't, it's hard. Bali Batachim don't cry easily. They're in a different world. So, have a good night. Pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Kultub. That bracha is going to work. The Gachabas and the Kultub. Both of them. They're real. A bracha by me is, it happened, especially. Anyway, was time to go? We got another. The cop. What's that? Oh, you want that one? Which one? Oh, him? You know what happened with this judge? He could have done a job on me. They had the worst lawyer in the, the number one lawyer in the state. There was estimated $100,000 was spent. Whatever, I had, I had to defend somebody. And I started crying. And this guy's cold as ice. My both lawyers said, this guy ain't no one getting anywhere with him. I cried for while I was talking. First of all, I do not come across well. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. And even if I do know, I'm probably going to say the wrong thing. And I'm going to be sice of myself. And there's a the, the lawyer there was described by my friends who had been in court, a viper. The lawyer was a viper, a snake, you know. This lawyer, ho oh, oh, she's world famous, a okay, uh, lady lawyer. Well, she, if anyone on her side, you won. You won the case. Uh, it was estimated $100,000 was used. Whatever, besides her, but check. And he was my best friend. I mean, that child, he's, I started crying, and he melted. Oh, case dismissed. I was there for 10 minutes. I was supposed to be there for two years. You know, Monday and Thursday, again, court, you know, it was a whole complicated job. And 10 minutes, 15, it was over. And the lawyer, uh, the, the McCutry, who's that, the prosecutor, the uh, lawyer against, had like this. The lawyer could have done a job that was, there was hard work put into what at the very, whatever. And it became bottle off and off, the whole business. And for one month, I was going around saying we won. Even though it made no sense. We won, we won, we won. It's blah down. And the person who was supposed to, it wasn't me, I was in defense. I was working, it was, I was helping. <coughs> this person would have lost. Big time. This person talks. You have ever aroused for Siam? You know, you know how to mess up. This person was a mood to mess up. I mean, just open your mouth. Your impression itself. Boom! You're in the garbage dump. You're lost. And I told that person for a month, <coughs> we won. We won. And I didn't even know the details. What you're supposed to say or not? Because I was busy learning sharp but talking all day. All I knew, those details. I knew with the Yevishta, that's all I was into. The Rabbeinu Shalom is all. And I went in a different direction. I wasn't part of it. The, there were two lawyers involved. And they both remarked, two lawyers that don't cost anything. You know what that means. And I see the more, what, what does it say about that? And the two lawyers made a remark. Uh, You're positive, you know, Rabbi? You know, because I used to laugh at the whole, it was so worried. And I was in a different world. We won, I used to keep saying it. Every time I said it, I was made some love. It's going to happen. Like I was working on the talk. As you say it, Rav Scheinberg, 
once we used to say a positive word, you're working on the talking right there. And that's it. It was dismissed overnight. So I had a few times with judges. I've helped others also. With court cases, I once had in two, in, in one week, in two weeks, I had three cases. I told all three people, you're going to win. With Dyke, Dyke is probably the time. I said, you're winning, you're winning, you're winning. All three of them won. I'm good with that. If anybody, by the way, if you want to win court cases, you have me. I can give you a bracha that's it's not stam. What? Check to What's that? Check. What do you mean? Money. Oh, the check? I'll take the check no matter what. Anyway, but the, the um, so the, um, what was I saying? Who? Huh? Yeah. The place to go is to Rav Yaakov Yosef's Keva. You know that? You want to win a court case? Now, Yenel Landau is a Satma Chassid who knows all the Kvarim. He's trying to promote going to Kvarim in America. And he told me, he's seeing people running for all different things. You have any Ruchni's bigger problems? No, Yemele Malach. That's what he told me. Court cases? The is, is tops. He's Tama big address, you know that. Big Mifsen happened over there. Anyway, so we, that's enough smoozing for tonight. And I wish everybody, ah, gazunta, zaminta.